Hey, it's Zach from How Chew, and I turned my Furby into an Amazon Echo. I'm sorry. Introducing Furlexa. I have nothing to do with Skynet. Don't worry. Furlexa. Tell me about Furbies. A Furby is an American electronic robotic toy released in 1998 by Tiger Electronics. I thought I'd make Furby a little less annoying and give him an upgrade with a real brain. Step aside, Tin Man. Now here's a little bit about Furby. Furby is a pretty amazing piece of technology, especially considering it's nearly 20 years old. And when I was a kid, it was a magical, mysterious thing. Furby hit the markets in 1998 and quickly became the toy of the holiday season, demanding insane prices on eBay and even being banned from the NSA over concerns that it could be used to spy on the United States. In the NSA's words, the spy was described as being less than a foot high, covered with red and orange fur, with watchful eyes and big ears. Of course, these concerns were unfounded since Furby has no ability to record anything and its microphone is a piece of crap. In case you missed out on it due to age or interplanetary habitation, Furby could learn to speak English by being exposed to other Furbies as well as other noises, such as yourself. It basically sits around and becomes extremely annoying, chiming in to distract you at every opportunity. Now, the original unmodified Furby is comprised of a few primary components. A microprocessor covered in black or white resin, a very basic microphone and terrible speaker, and most impressively, a single DC motor that drives a set of cams, levers, and gears to make Furby talk, dance, and move. I am weightless, like a cloud. Wait a minute, clouds actually weigh a lot. So that's not quite right. Let's just say I'm more sass than mess. Now for my Furby hacking project, I replaced the original CPU and related circuitry with a Raspberry Pi Zero computer. And I replaced Furby's original speaker and microphone, which were terrible, with this small amplifier from Pi Maroni, a USB microphone, and a replacement speaker. A small motor control driver is soldered directly to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins and is used to control Furby's original DC motor. So when Alexa speaks, so does Furby. I also use Furby's original AA battery pack to provide power for the motor. Now, of course, to put the Alexa in for Alexa, I'm using Amazon's open source Alexa voice service running on the Raspberry Pi. I also wrote some custom Python scripts that will call the motor control program to run Furby's mouth whenever sound's being output by Alexa. For Alexa can do everything that Alexa can do, from turning on lights. For Alexa, turn on the dining room lights. Okay. To telling me the weather. For Alexa, What's the weather like? In Tampa, it's 69 degrees with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for thunderstorms with a low of 66 degrees. To playing my favorite songs. Speak like you know I cannot. I didn't have room for a battery, let alone the voltage booster that would be needed to boost it up to 5 volts. So I just plug an AC adapter into the back, and that'll work fine. It sits on my desk anyways. Now because I know some of you are going to ask this, will my Furby catch fire? And the answer is maybe. Just kidding, though I thought about this a lot, electronics can get hot. First I needed to find out how flammable Furby was, so I unscientifically lit one on fire in my DIY fire pit. After much observation, I concluded that it was, indeed, mildly interesting. Hmm. I also concluded that because the pie will never get hot enough to melt through Furby's carapace, and his electronics will never be in direct contact with his fur or skin, he will probably not self-immolate. I put a link to the full version of this guide in the video description if you'd like to see a little more detail on how I built it, and the whole process was a bit challenging and time consuming, so check it out. Be sure to subscribe, and if you wanna build your own Raspberry Pi Alexa or Amazon Echo, you don't need to use all the parts that I used. Mine was kind of a complicated setup. You can actually do it with just a Raspberry Pi 3 and a few other components like the USB microphone. So I also have a link in the video description if you wanna do that, everything you need and how to do it. As always, thanks for watching. All right, and I didn't forget to record that time. Use the wrong microphone. Yes.